Hello Internet. In a couple of minutes I will try to explain this controller that I built. This controller can drive a three-phase BLDC motor as a servo motor. And by that I mean that it measures the position of the shaft at any moment in time and applies torque at 90 degrees electrical, which means that it can achieve constant torque in stall position or when moving very slowly. It takes 10 to 40 volt power supply. It uses RS-485 as a communication protocol to receive commands and write back the position. This is a magnetic sensor here, and that means that the motor that you drive must have a magnet attached to the shaft, like for instance these gimbal motors here. They also have hollow shaft, and because the controller has a hole in the middle, the wires can go through the shaft like this. Or you can use a slip ring for continuous rotation, like this. It is open source, so you can reprogram or debug it. This is your JTAG connector. You will need this kind of adapter board, and then you use ST-Link and USB. Okay, so how do you use it? Because it is open source, you can build it yourself, or you can check out the website, I may have it for sale. Either way, first time you power it on, you will see these two LEDs blinking. This means that it is not fully configured and it is not ready to receive commands. ID has to be set and it has to be calibrated. When calibrating, the controller learns a number of poles of the motor and also the position of this magnet relative to the poles. This means that it has to stay in the same position after calibration, because that is the position it learned. The easiest way to do it is to put it on the glue. Just align these holes, put it on the glue for a couple of minutes and you're done. Alternatively, you can attach it to your design, like for instance this robotic joint of mine, and then do the calibration. Idea is the same. Once calibrated, it cannot move, or else you will have to recalibrate it. There are two ways to calibrate it. One is to press this button here, and another one is to send the command, which I will explain later. Let's do the button. Either way, it will execute this uh, kind of sequence. It will do one turn up and then down. During this turn, you have to make sure that it doesn't touch anything and doesn't interfere with anything. It has to move absolutely freely, or else the calibration will be distorted. Done. All controllers are attached to the same bus in parallel. And this means that all the commands that go on the bus will reach all the controllers, and every controller needs to decide if this command is targeting itself. And the uh, controller does so by comparing command's ID with the controller's ID. This is why be before you drive the controller you need to set its ID. You see it's still blinking, which means that it doesn't know its ID. There are two ways to set it. One is to press this button here, and another one is to send the command on the bus, which I'll explain later. If you want to use button, and let's say you want to set its ID to 3, all you have to do is press it 3 times. 1, 2, and 3. Then if you power it off, and power it on again, it will know that its ID is 3. If you change your mind and you want to change the ID, let's say to 2, you have to press it twice. 1, 2. Power it off, power it on, and it knows that its ID is 2. The easiest way to try out the commands is to use this kind of USB to RS-485 board. Make sure you connect A to A and B to B. You're also supposed to connect the ground, which I didn't in this case. Still working. Next, get yourself a COM port application, for instance, real term. Choose board rate, select the port and open. Then go send and send, for instance, this command. 0A is the ID of the target controller. A means read an angle, and every command has to end with slash n. Send, and you will see the response. If you turn it a little bit,
and send it again, you will see that it reads a different angle. Please know that uh, every time it reads, the value is slightly different. This is because the sensor is noisy. And let me explain what you see here. First two zeros means that the destination of this response is zero zero, which is uh, the main board. Next zero one means that the source of this response is the controller with ID zero one. And last four digits here is the actual reading. That's the angle. Another example of a command is C for calibration. Remember I showed you how to do calibration by pressing a button? You can do the same by sending a command. If you send, the controller will execute the same procedure. It will do one turn up and then one turn down. Let's wait. And in the end, OK. Another example of a command is I for ID. It simply responds with OK, means that it accepted new ID. You see, it starts with FF, which means that um, the destination of this command is FF, which is a broadcast ID. Every controller attached to the bus will accept it, regardless of its ID. So, on the whole, this command means every controller on the bus take new identity and your ID is 1. Okay, and finally T for torque. It is letter T followed by plus or minus and then 0 to FF, that's the torque value. 20 is gentle. A bit harder. This is half strength. And FF is a full strength. Okay, the idea here is that it pushes with the constant strength regardless of the position. You see, it just keeps pushing.